So just briefly, my uh, setup for today is I'm photographing the Cookmere River as it kind of meanders down to the sea um, using my 4x5 camera, which I'm not sure is a particularly good idea today because it is quite blowy up here. Um, so I've got a 135mm lens on and I'm using a couple of filters. I've got a, a two-stop ND grad, uh, which is a soft grad, not good for that one because actually it's quite a small lens, that, so I'd be better off with a hard grad, but I don't have any, so I'm just going to use that just to bring the sky down a little bit and I'm also using an orange filter because I just want that sky just to darken up a bit. So yeah, just build them all up in this kind of Lee filter holder system and I will get the screw thread down to the uh, size of that lens which is 40 and a half mil so I've got a combination of kind of step up rings and step down rings and uh, yeah we'll get it done Come here. Go on, lad.
Right, so I've come down to do a bit of a close-up of this crossing point here. Um, you've got this style that you can walk over and this kind of gate. So there's lots of nice interesting detail here. Um, this is my closest focusing point and then the, the, the far post is my sort of furthest out. So I've got a, a slight bit of um, a movement on the front of the camera just to try and get everything in focus. And then it's going to be about, um, it's going to be about half a second F32 and that should just smooth out the water a little bit. So change of plans with the metering. Since I took that last uh, meter reading, uh, the sun has now come out and it looks like it's gonna be out for quite a bit. So it's kind of thrown off my um, exposure reading. So what I'm gonna do is I've taken um, the ND filter that's come off of the camera that I was filming on. And what I'm gonna do is I don't have the right step up ring to use um, on that camera. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to hold it in front of the lens and um, my meter reading is now one second at f32 um, and what I've done is I with my spot meter instead of uh, metering at ISO 100 I'm uh, metering at ISO 12 to allow for those three stops so uh, yeah we'll see how that goes So that is me done once again. Thanks very much for watching. Um, as always, uh, feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the photos and I will see you next time. Okay, cheers, bye.